guys, what's up? It's True Bros. This is one here. Just a 10 second bite out of this video. And I know it's been a while since I have done a commentary, a guide for League of Legends, but I'm that started. Now that it is pretty much officially um, the start of summer, like a week and a half ago ish, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm totally ready to get back into the swing of things for YouTube. And um, today, the, I'm going to be um, doing a commentary on how to kind of get better and how to kind of climb la the ladder of the legend more effectively efficiently and pretty much just how to do it and give you guys some tips on that so this game i ended up uh getting a complexity versus bop sq game i don't know what their team name is but i do know this is the complexity squad and it is a 5v ranked 5v5 game um between the complexity squad and um, yeah the other team I don't know they're high ELO so they're I guess they're decent but I highly doubt they're gonna be complexity um, and you guys won't even see the full game this is just for some gameplay in the background and yeah maybe zero destroying um, innovation there but anyways to climb ladder I recently got to gold ELO here's a picture if you guys want and it's gonna be on the screen right now and it took me quite a while, and I find the only thing that was holding me back from getting to gold yellow was not playing ranked enough. I uh, when I I didn't play that much ranked, and it took me like a good two days of just solidly playing ranked in order to get to gold. But after that, I was really happy um, to finally get to gold, and I'm gonna give you some tips on that. So first of all, I would like to just make kind of a statement: is that you. Just by listening to the tips I have and stuff, you won't get into gold unless you are gold skill level. Just like you won't get into silver unless you are silver skill level. Just like you won't get into um, platinum if you're not platinum skill level. In order to move up, you have to be that skill level. And if you're not moving up, you aren't that skill level. Which is why if you want to move up and you want to get better, you have to be that skill level. That's how it should work, and that how it, and that's how it is working, and that's how it does work. And Lattimore is getting caught out there. Um, but first of all, if you know that you're not good enough yourself to be, uh, let's say, silver, if you're trying to climb from bronze, because I, I know 50% of the law communities in bronze. Um, if you're trying to climb from bronze to silver, just trying to get up to silver, um, you have to make sure that you are good enough in silver before you co start complaining that you're in bronze and stuff because you, know, you won't it's impossible okay i'm gonna break this down even more it's impossible to get to silver let's say when you're not silver skill level you have to be as good good enough to be in silver in order to be in silver it's pretty simple i don't know why i spent so much time talking about it but i'm just saying you have to be that skill level in order so once we have that down, another great thing um, to help you guys uh, climb ELO and do good in ranked is communication with team and champion select. Champion select is always a great place to um, get started off with your team and everything. And when you're in champion select, it's always good to have like a good attitude and everything. And innovation taking up for all of you there. Um, but it's a great idea to talk nice to your team and stuff and be like I prefer playing this role but make sure that you guys never take a role from a teammate who's a higher pick than you in rank it's pick order it goes by pick order if you want to play mid but then you um your fifth pick you have to fill because if you're like I prefer mid but someone above you picks mid you can't play mid you can't be like I called it first that's not how it works in rank you have to go pick order and I'm I'm not too sure how it works in bronze ELO like that. I'm assuming that in bronze some people might think it's call order like normal games, but um, no bronze, um, it's always pick order. Pick order is probably the best way to do it because you make sure the most skilled, most high MMR person gets the role they want and that's kind of what you want to go for there. Um, but that's, um, you just got to make sure communication with team. And in ranked, when I was climbing from gold to, I mean silver to gold, uh, the toxic, 
the like the toxic level um, of the games wasn't that bad at all. Typically, when I played my games, there wasn't that much trolls or anything, and that's mainly because I wasn't trolling. A lot of people say that there's like a ton of trolls in their game, blah 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 blah. Um, but that's mostly not true. It's typically when you also have bad behavior and stuff. Because, um, in ranked, you should always try to stop your teammates from fighting and overreacting. Let's say someone gets first blood in top lane, and let's say you wanted to play top lane, and, but they were a higher pick than you to play top lane. Don't be like, oh, see, you should have given me top lane. Just be quiet. And this is why in my ranked games that I played, pretty much all the time, I just sat there quiet the entire time. And whenever my teammates uh, were pretty much just pissing each other off and stuff and um, making the game toxic, um, I would be like, it's okay, guys. We have a chance. It just, like, motivate them a little bit. It definitely helps a lot, and it helps me. And, uh, when you're lane, uh, if you do all that you could do in a ranked game, that's all you need. Because if you do good in a ranked game, and yet your teammates suck, you won't lose that much league points. You still will lose some. You still will probably be mad because it's all your teammates' fault. But you still, you won't lose any league points, and that's the thing. Um, you still will lose some. I remember, uh, what game was it? I don't know. It was a game I was playing mid, and I was doing really good. And my teammates just weren't performing to the level that they should have. And, uh, they weren't doing too well. And we lost that game. And I only lost four, four league points. And when I won my next one, guess how much I won? 22. So, um, definitely, if you hold your own in ranked, and this also kind of comes back to, if you're good enough to be in gold, then you will be in gold, kind of thing. Um, where, if you can hold your lane at any time, even if you're losing, if you hold your lane and you, and you your own goal, you'll move up way faster than you would otherwise. I believe I have around 70-something, maybe, yeah, 70-something wins and around 50 losses. Um, which is pretty good for ranked, um, definitely. I typically play AD carry, um, or mid. Uh, I'm preferring mid now. I used to prefer AD carry. But, the main thing is, obviously, play to your skill level. If you're not the correct skill level to be in that, um, be in that league, then you're not gonna be in that league, and you just need to work on getting better. Which, um, a way you could get better is obviously analyzing your game. When you go through, when you do a game, you, when you play a game, you go through it, you analyze it, and you think of what happened and what you could do to improve, it uh, really helps out a lot, um, no matter what role, no matter um, what champion. And also, only play the champions you're good at, and only play the champions that you have experience with. That's another huge tip. Because if you play a champion that you're bad with, um, you're not going to do anything and you're just gonna feed and stuff you won't play to your full potential anyway. When you can play great, you're an amazing, great player, and that's all you play. But, um, just today, uh, you feel like playing a different AD carry. Uh, practice them in normal. Whenever you're playing a, uh, champion in rank, you should always have an immense amount of practice, an immense amount of practice in normal with them, because um, if you practice them in normal, you'll get a lot better, and then you'll be a lot more ranked, um, ready for playing them. So if you play a lot of Kennen in normal, and you're a great Kennen player, pull them out in ranked, and you'll do good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all of the time I have, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I gave you a little bit more insight into what you need to do, um, to get up ranks and stuff in ranked. And I will be posting a lot more videos for I'm gonna be posting a lot of guides uh, during the summer. The Twisted Fate one should be coming up relatively soon. And I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Peace out.